in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Wesley runs the best gun bunch in the Madden community. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21. So if you're looking to get better at this game, learn from both myself and the pros, uh, some of the things that I do right, some of the things I do wrong, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, just takes one second of your time. And research has shown me that only 35% of the people that have been watching my videos are actually subscribed to me. So that means that if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, you might be missing out on other content that I have for you. We upload eight videos every single day on YouTube. We also stream every night on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss any of the important content that we're trying to bring your way. All right, guys, so Wesley is a beast, right? He is one of the best pa passers in the Madden community. This guy is an amazing, amazing passer. And what you'll notice when you actually watch him play is he does things a little bit differently, right? Does things a little bit differently than a lot of people do. Now, in this particular game, he actually switched from running the Carolina Bunch to running the Seattle Bunch, and primarily for the play Clear Out SE Out, which I don't have in my playbook. I've broken it down in previous videos, and if you really want a breakdown on it, just shoot me a text message. My number will pop up on the screen here. But the play that we're going to be breaking down today, we're going to be breaking down two plays in particular, and they're plays that really, really go hand in hand and we're going to jump over here to gameplay really quickly um, but that is the bench pivot and the z spot now both of these come out of the gun bunch and john beast was running the two four five double a gap but really what he's basically running was man to man coverage a lot um, and so there was really two to three plays that wesley used that i thought were really really pro his primary thing um, oftentimes he would run playmaker on the back side of this so you know that's that's another thing that he would do um we don't have playmaker in regs, but in mutt you can obviously get that ability uh, on your on your receivers if they are a good enough receiver, whether it be Deion Sanders or Terry McLaurin. So, anyways, all that to say, we're going to dive in. So, there's three plays that I want to share with you today. The first play is bench pivot. The second play is flood, and the third play is Z spot. So, the first one, bench pivot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sub in OJ Howard. Uh, in mutt, you want to make sure that this is a player that you have good route running tight end. Like if you as long if you have a good route running tight end, this is probably in my opinion the best play in gun bunch and the reason why is because it gets so so open against a lot of different things so all we're going to do the only setup that we have on this play is we're going to streak the um we're just going to streak chris godwin we're going to block the running back we're going to drag mike evans and then from there we can do whatever we want with antonio brown we can put him on an out route um what what most people like to do is they like to block him so they'll basically motion block him Right, so they bring him across formation just like that and kind of motion block him. That's another thing that you can do. But as you'll see here, my tight end doesn't quite get as open in regs as he does in mutt. Now, in a mutt, he would get wide, wide open. In regs, not so much. Okay, so you need to have a good tight end. So, like, for example, if you have he'll get open sometimes, he just doesn't get open all the time. So, uh, another thing that you can do off this is again. You really want to max protect so that you can have time in the pocket. So, again, motion that receiver over. Uh, that's how Wesley was doing it, and then he was basically max protecting. And as you can see right there, you can kind of get this outside leverage. Now, again, I want to really, really highlight and encourage you, if you're running this play, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you have a good tight end. If you don't have a good tight end, don't run this play, right? So if I'm, if I'm in regs, I would run this play if I have... Um, you know, if I have the, oh uh, gosh, who am I thinking of? The, 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 the Kansas City Chiefs, right? That, that would be a team that you would want to run this play with. If you don't have someone like the Kansas City Chiefs or the 49ers, then I wouldn't run this play uh, as much, or as at least out of much, um, if they're in man coverage. If they're showing man coverage, don't run this. But as you can see there, um, the drag route does get open against man-to-man -man oftentimes as well. Now, where this play really, really shines is against zone coverage. And the reason why is because of that corner route and the type of corner route that it is. Um, see how it really goes to the outside here. So all we're going to do is, again, we're going to run that same exact setup. But now what you're going to notice is this corner route to the tight end is going to absolutely cook 
any zone coverage in the game. It's one of the best zone beating routes in the entire game. As you can see right there, it gets over the zone drops. It gets over everything. It's super, super hard to guard, whether they're in man coverage, whether they're in zone coverage, whether they're in Tampa 2, whether they're in, you know, it, 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 in, in Mutt specifically, especially because you can put um, a tight end out there that has really good route running. That route gets super, super open against man. And then in zone coverage, it already gets open. As you see, that's a cover two with the 25-yard purple zone out there. That doesn't, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a bit of difference that there's a cover two purple. Um, so you, what I'm saying about this is this this play really does a good job at beating zone coverage. You can run this at will against zone coverage because really their user is going to have to go guard that drag, and then that zone that route to the other player is going to do a good job at getting open against pretty much every zone in the entire game. Another way that you could run this setup, okay, this is just bonus, 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 okay, while I'm thinking about it. Another way that you could run this setup, let's say you want to put more people out if they're running a lot of coverage defense. What I would do is I would take Antonio Brown and I would put him on a crossing route, still streak Godwin, okay, then I would take the running back, put him on a block and release, and then I would still drag Mike Evans. That setup right there, and then I would just motion Brown to the right one step and snap, you're going to see that motion crosser. Um, is going to do a good job. Their user is going to oftentimes go to the motion cross, most the motion crosser. Um, that crosser will also do a really good job against man coverage if you need it for that. So that's bench pivot. The next play is flood, and this is one of what I, he went to. The, I think he personally went to this play a little too much, but he did go to this play a lot. And really, the setup is simple. We're going to take the the tight end. We're going to put him on an out route, and then we're going to basically block the running back, or we're going to put him on a flat route. One of the two. Um, is really primarily what we're going to do. You're going to notice that this tight end out route will oftentimes be wide open against uh, man coverage. Specifically if, and again, when most people, when they run 3 through 5 wide or 2 four, 5 double A-gap, that means that this guy over here is going to be the guy that's in coverage. So you can kind of bank on that. So again, uh, this flood play, and again, you want to make sure that if you put him on that out route, you'll see, see how he gets that little separation. Now, if you... I don't know why Savage was over in that zone. That's a weird zone for him to be in. Now, if they, if they, let's say that for example, you know, they cover the, they cover the, the tight end. You're like, and you're like, what do I do? They've covered the tight end. Well, that's where this play really becomes handy because it gives you two different things that you can do. The first thing that you can do is you can hit this out route to Chris Godwin. It will always be open against press coverage. That route will always be open unless the corner has one step ahead. If the corner has one step ahead, it's not always open, which in Mutt, it's not always open. But in Regs, that route literally will always be open because there's not really any corner in this game except for maybe Jalen Ramsey. And most people aren't going to put him in the slot that's going to guard it. You'll see here just over and over and over again. I can throw that over and over and over again. The Another thing that really complements that is the backside. And Wesley would do, Wesley really wouldn't do this a lot. Um, normally he had a drag, and that was primarily for the playmaker. What I would recommend doing is I would recommend leaving this default dig route to Mike Evans. And the reason why is because in regs, it's going to get a lot more open than it would in mutt. In mutt, it's harder to get that route open, but in regs, that's going to be a route that's really going to do a good job. Now let's say that they were running some type of zone coverage um, on you, maybe a Mabel coverage or something like that. Well, now you've got this low ball right there. If you see the zones kind of run away, then you can low ball the route to Chris Godwin. The other thing that you can do in this situation is let's say that you're faced with a lot of zone coverage, then you could go to the same setup, but now you'll see, okay, oh, the left pocket's wide open, and I can low ball that right there, and it's almost like a curl route that it turns into. So that's the play Flood. And then the last play that we're going to talk about is really an, another match protect play. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to run Z spot. And this is a really, really powerful play. And all we're going to do is we're going to match protect. We're going to drag Mike Evans. And then from there, we're going to motion Antonio Brown to the left side. And this is truly a max protect type of play. It really is only two reads. You're either going to throw the corner or you're going to run this playmaker route to Mike Evans. So most of the time, this corner route will get instant separation to the outside. Now, the reason that it didn't right there is because Jair Alexander has acrobat. And he has, I believe, deep route KO on him. So... The reason that that matters is because it's going to be a little bit harder to hit this route against him. So, for example, another way that you could run this is to do it just like this right here. This is a, a five-out version. You could do something like this 
and now what you'll notice is you're going to have a lot more consistency of being able to hit this route to Chris Godwin. And of course, you know, sometimes with, again, a lot of this has to do with route running. And if you have the route running to be able to get it done, this Z spot play is really, really good. Chris Godwin should be able to get open pretty consistently with it. From my experience, um, the best player in the in regs to run this with is actually going to be uh, Devontae Adams because Devontae Adams has route tech. Route tech gets a lot more separation, in my opinion, than Slotomatic does. So anyway, you have those two reads on the left. Now, what's really nice about this is on the back side, again, it's that same little thing. You have that little crosser, little mesh route right out of the middle. So they can't, you're really stretching their user, and the user can't always be right. The last thing that I want to share with you today is I want to share with you this against zone. And this play against zone is just as good as bench pivot is against zone. It's super, super hard to guard. What's nice is you have them from three different receivers in the bunch. You can run it to the tight end, then you can run it to the slot, then you can run it to the outside slot if you know what you're doing. So all three routes beat man, and all three routes beat zone, as you can see right there. So that makes these flood concepts from bunch absolutely really, really difficult to stop. So realistically, people are going to have to use or the bunch side, which is going to leave that solo receiver. And if you can get that solo receiver open on some post routes, some drag routes, some things like that, that's going to be very effective. And that's what Wesley did at a very high level and was able to do throughout the tournament. Unfortunately, wasn't able to come home with the belt but I believe he ran one of the best offenses in the community. So that is how Wesley ran the best gun bunch in Madden 21. Now, if you want to get my full gun bunch uh, offensive scheme, that is in the text membership, which all you got to do to pick that up is just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. And also, if you want to get uh, my bunch tied in ebook that I just released, which will go very nicely with this scheme, that ebook is on sale now for just 15 bucks. It's in the description, and a lot of people have really, really found a lot of success with this bunch tied in. The beauty is this you can find bunch tied in in Seattle, and you can also find it in the Jets playbook. So it can definitely cross apply to these two schemes. So, and you can kind of run them uh, together as a lot of people that ran the gun bunch did in the tournament. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the breakdown. And we will see you guys on tonight's stream at 10 p.m. Eastern. And just a quick reminder if you want to get that gun bunch scheme that is in my text membership, just shoot me a text message and I'll shoot you a link to the offense. Thanks for watching.